What's up, everybody? Welcome to Level Up with Adobe. I'm here with Tim Chantarangsu. What's up? I'm Pedro Flores, and we're about to level up your blog. Yo. Do you want to level up video editing for your blog? Do you want to learn better transitions and post-production tricks from the pros? Well, you're in luck, because Tim and I are going to show you the best way to level up your blogs with Adobe Premiere Pro. My name is Pedro D. Flores. I'm a producer, director, and for the last 15 years, I've been making cartoons, movies, and viral videos with today's guest, Timothy De La Ghetto, a.k.a. Tim Chantarazzi. Tim is a man of many talents. From TV shows like Wallin' Out, Deliciousness, and Train Spotting, to millions of views on YouTube. Tim has been weekly blogging for the past 13 years, and he's still going strong. All right, guys, we're here on top of a mountain in Las Vegas, Nevada. If it was up to you and you had like a crew or you had like more time in the world, is there anything you would want to do to like level up your blogs? I probably would have a second person following me with the camera, take more time to set up the shots and stuff. Just make yeah. things a little more aesthetically cool. The beauty of, of vlogs, right, and blogging and why people are so drawn to it is um, it really feels like it's more personal. Right at the camera, I'm yeah. engaged. They feel like I'm talking to them. They want to know about my life and my family and my friends, what I'm up to. They're the ones that like really rooting for me. A little inside, a little, you know, yeah. everyone likes a little behind the scenes. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I think the people that watch the vlogs are really just kind of invested in me as a person. And I'm like <laughs> thanking them all the time. Like, hey guys, thank you for watching this, the random stuff. Like, yeah. I know you guys really are here for me. And um, and I appreciate it, you know? We gotta go, you got the, the keys for the helicopter? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. So after 24 hours of filming a super awesome vlog, it was time to level up the edit with Adobe Premiere Pro. Man, what's up, man? So here we are guys, one week later. I'm excited bro. Yeah? I'm excited to see the Vegas vlog. So after, after I show it to him, we're gonna go over some techniques, some editing techniques that I went through. Okay. And uh, yeah, you ready for this? Let's do it! Let's go! Hi, my name is Pedro Flores, and that's my BFF, Tim Chantarangsu. We teamed up with Adobe Premiere Pro to level up our blog. Yeah. Follow us on our road trip to Las Vegas, Nevada. We're ready to start the day. You ready for this helicopter ride, dog? I'm excited. I'm a little. I don't, I've never been in a helicopter before. Yeah, me neither, man. Me neither. So, a little scared. It's gonna be amazing. Set them off in the middle of nowhere. So guys, we're in Moapa, Nevada, and here all fireworks are legal. So that's why Tim got what you got there, dude. I got the oops, I put my pants 9,000. That's a good one, that's a good one, that's a good one.
Peace Sky. Mm. And we're about to light it up. Check it out. Let's go. Our goal was to level up our blogs using Adobe Premiere Pro, and level up we did. Look at the transition. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Tight. So there it is, man. That was cool, man. Is that what you think, first of all? It was amazing. You liked it? I laughed, I cried. Yeah. I uh it puts you in a good mood. One of the great things that Tim does is that whenever he transitions, he kind of pans the camera left or right, up and down. So it was real easy for me to use his panning with uh, my panning shots and just easily come together. And we did that a couple times. We did it right here in that one shot we were just looking at, you know? Mm -hmm. Boom. Wow, panning. yeah, it's, that's smooth. Well, pretty much, this is kind of where I got my stock footage. Adobe Who's stock. that? I don't know. But dude, I put uh, horses on mountains <laughs> and it gave me like, like too many options. Yeah, wow, it's so specific. Yeah. So while editing this, I ran into a couple issues with color because we had footage from a bunch of different sources. We had footage from Tim's cell phone, from my cell phone, from my cameras, from a drone. Normally that's kind of a pain to color correct and color match, but thanks to Adobe's auto color match feature, it's pretty fast and pretty efficient. Ooh, that's cool. Let me show you. Like I'm not even being funny, like auto color match is tight. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me show you. <laughs> so for example, right, we have this clip right here. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to match us on the helicopter with the stock footage of the horses, the horses right? Man. But you see it's kind of bluish. So pretty much what I did is go into your Lumetri color panel, go down to color wheels and match, then go to your comparison view. And now this is gonna try to match this clip right here. Now all you do is go to a good place that you think would be a good place to match the colors right there, move my hands. All right, now you gotta do is press apply match, give it a second. Bam, look at that. And now if we play back and it auto does it for you. Yeah, that's tight. So now that will automatically match that. That's and it does it like in a second. That's cool. So I think now it goes. And I know you're wondering how I got this nighttime to daytime shot. And all I did was I took the daytime footage of us reacting about an hour before we started actually popping fireworks. And then I took the footage of us popping the fireworks and blended them together. You get this. Boom. And then to sell the effect, I added some dust on top of it, and that's what you see here. So that's it, man. Uh, do you think we level up your blogs? Uh, yeah, 100%. You know, I think, uh, you know, it's always nice to take it next level. I think, you know, maybe on my vlog viewers, they appreciate what I do, but if I did some more of this, they'd be like, oh, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, people, you know, people, people love the vlogs because they love just me. Yeah. But, uh, you know, they might get a little bored sometimes. Like, all right, bro, we're sick of your face. Show us something cool. For sure. For know? sure. And, uh, and if it's easy like this, I might start doing something cool. All right, man. Well, well, something, something. I'm glad you liked it, dude. <laughs> I it was, it was such a great time. Like, honestly, yeah. I had such a great time. I think what makes this blog special is that we were literally having a good time. Mm -hmm. Like we, you know, we did a couple bits here and there, but for the most part, like we were just having a good time. We gotta be natural, guys. Like like Tim was saying uh, earlier, you don't have to necessarily overdo it. Yeah, you know? exactly. Um, you could do some small stuff and still have some cool edits and make it look cool. But here's what I think of what's dope about what you do, right? It's because you edit it to like capture the vibe of the fun we were having. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like you're not. Over, because I've watched vlogs where the content is so boring that they're overcompensating with all these crazy cuts and graphics to try and make the vlog more entertaining. Yeah, we're having a good time. We had a good time, but also the edit like captures that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it kind of yeah. like just kicks it up a little bit of like what we're already doing. And I think you know, hey man, that's that's why you're so talented. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, bro. Once again, thanks to Tim Chantarangsu. Hey, I'm man. Pedro Flores, and uh, I'll see you on the next episode, guys. Premiere Pro allowed us to level up our blog with easy color matching, Adobe stock footage, and easy transitions. Next time on Level Up with Adobe Premiere Pro, Eric Ochoa and I will level up your VFX and sound effects for your short films. Don't miss it!